As humans, we tend to find some peace when we are alone. But do we find that peace all the time? You see, modern day psychology talks about phobias and irrational fears that are only built up on our minds and often with no apparent reason. So if they're only built in our head, why do we fear at all? And especially when we are all alone. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel Retrospective and today we're gonna be talking about the Kenobsha concept that's hidden inside Gary's mode and how this one affects us in our everyday life. So without further ado, let's begin. So before we actually start talking about Gary's mode and some other interesting themes, we first need to understand the actual concept of what Kenobsha is. Kenobsha can be described as an irrational fear that occurs when we are in a place that's usually filled with people, but now it's fully and completely empty. But why do we feel fear or uncomfort at all? Well, it's because in our modern day world, we're used to be surrounded by people and when we are completely alone and in a very large place, the mind interprets that you're actually not alone. Meaning that what you're perceiving is that you are in fact alone and nobody's with you, but your mind thinks otherwise. This actual phenomenon can generate stress and anxiety and the actual feeling can intensify via different elements such as, for example, distant sounds, lights and shadows, etc. Now, the real reason as to why this fear can be connected to Gary's mode is because the actual game, if you're playing in single player mode, can deliver a very similar result of this actual phenomenon. Just to give you an example of this, in the map called Construct, we can hear different sounds that intensify the feeling of not being truly alone. And also this exact same map has one underground bunker or subsoil that is pretty much lightless and generates a new layer of fear. And in the map called Big City, we can also hear sounds, especially from a police car siren, that generates this sense of fear and uncomfort much further, because the map makes you think that you're actually in a fully inhabited and functional city. Now, another thing that's interesting are the actual next bots that were created from users that would let them chase them, which also generates some kind of irrational fear. However, we could do a separate video on it because this goes a little bit far from the main point of this video. Another thing that it's related to Kenobsha are the supposed liminal spaces or backrooms. Now, liminal spaces and the creepypasta of the backrooms can be a little extensive and complex to understand. But, to make it as simple as possible, liminal spaces can be described as a place that doesn't exist on our planet and does not have a physical location, but transmits the feeling that you've been there or you dreamt with them. But, if they don't exist, why do we find them familiar, but at the same time, why do we fear them? The reason goes back to what we talked about perceiving and interpreting. Because our brain, a very powerful tool indeed, resembles those places to memories or certain aspects of our childhood and creates the feeling that those places were part of our life, and we've seen them before, although they don't exist. And also, the fear comes from the exact same reason, because it's a place that is fully empty and uninhabited, but the mind thinks that it's not like that. So, after all of this, we can see how Kenobsha is a very real feeling that shouldn't generate symptoms of stress and anxiety, but because our mind is more powerful than us, we are affected by a wrong interpretation. And, to finish it all off, another example of Kenobsha can be how, when we were during the pandemic and we needed to go out for supplies, meaning groceries, People develop a small fear of the outside, a small case of agoraphobia, which generates social anxiety. And when we were out on the streets, people experienced the actual Kenobsha feeling because of the lack of people. 
So, I hope you guys liked this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the actual channel. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.